So you want to install Reshade for 5M in 2025? Well, you have come to the right video. I'm going to teach you the easiest and fastest way to install Reshade for 5M and how to fix any issues you might have while installing Reshade. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to install Reshade for GTA 5 in 5M is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to install Reshade for GTA 5. Now, this guide is meant for GTA 5 and not 5M, but the steps are pretty similar, as you will see just in a second. Now, once you're over here in this guide, you're going to scroll down to step one and you're going to hit this button in here, which is going to redirect you to the Reshade official website you could also search this website app but if you want to come to the right place just click on the button in there and that will bring you over here here we're going to scroll down and we're going to download reshade in this video it says 6.3.3 but you might be watching this video in the future and the version might be different just click on this one right here the one on the top and hit download and then within a couple of seconds the download will begin for the reshade setup now once you have that file let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop that is just for us to find it easily you're going to find this file in your recent download history or in your downloads folder in your computer now just make sure that you have your game as well as 5M close. And once you do, all you have to do is double click on Reshade Setup and that will open the installer for Reshade. Now in here, as you can see, I have a Ground of Auto 5 EXE file located automatically. But if it doesn't find it automatically, guys, I'm going to leave you in the description of this video. That same article tells you exactly what are the common locations for the installation of GTA 5 in case your installer doesn't find it automatically. You have the Epic Games location, the Steam and the Rockstar. Nonetheless, now if Reshade didn't locate GTA 5 automatically, here's how to find it. What you're going to do is open your launcher. This could be done through Epic Games, Rockstar Launcher or Steam. And I'm going to show you with my launchers how to do it. Let's first do Epic Games. Open Epic Games. Find your GTA 5 game in your library, right? So head over to your library, search for Grand Theft Auto in here. And once you find it, click on these three dots in here, click on Manage and then click on the installation folder right here. That is going to open the install location and you're going to copy this string of text on the top. Just select that and press Ctrl C to copy it and you could exit out of this in here, right? And then you're gonna come back into here. You're gonna click on browse and you're gonna paste that in here on the top, hit enter, and that is going to find your installation folder of GTA. That is with Epic Games with a Steam. Find your GTA 5 here on the left, right click on it, click on manage, click on browse local files, and then copy this string of text on the top again, copy that, head back into your reshade setup, click on browse, paste that in here on the top, hit enter, and then select GTA 5.exe in here. And if you have Rockstar Launcher, I'm leaving in the first pin comment, as was on that article in the description, guys, right here, you have the Rockstar Launcher installation folder. So this shouldn't be an issue because I know a lot of people have in the past commented that they can't find the installation folder. That is how to find it, okay? Now, once you locate that, once you have GTA 5.exe, go ahead and select it and click next in here, and then select Microsoft Direct X 10, 11, 12, Hit next one more time. And then obviously you're not gonna have Reshade already installed. I already do, so it's asking me to update Reshade only, but you guys are just gonna install Reshade from scratch, right? I'm actually gonna update it with Reshade and FX, but you guys are just gonna select install Reshade from scratch. That is going to bring you over here where you're going to uncheck all and then check all, and you're gonna select all the presets, all the plugins, hit next one more time, and then just wait for Reshade to install completely. Now you're not done. You're not where near being done with installing Reshade. That is why it's very important that you pay attention to the next step after we install Reshade. Now, once Reshade installs, it's going to tell you in here that it's being successfully installed. Just click finish in here. And now you could even delete the installer of Reshade from your desktop because you don't even need it anymore. Now, for the next step, guys, very important that you pay attention. What we're going to do is first open the installation folder of 5M, okay? 5M. So you could just search for 5M in here. As you can see, mine is right here. You're going to right click on it and you're going to click open file location. And then once that brings you over here, once you open file location, you're going to right click on 5M one more time. If you don't see the application data folder in here, you're going to right click on it one more time and you're going to click open file location one more time. Then you should be on this screen. Okay. Once you're on this screen, you're going to open the 5M application data that is going to put you over here. Now, what I want you to do is to place this folder on the left side of your screen, just like so. And then we're going to open the installation folder of GTA 5. Yes, that folder that we located earlier using this manage button in here, as well as on Epic Games that we located using the manage button and then browse local files. We're going to open that installation folder of GTA 5. OK, now I'm going to use my Steam version of the game and I'm going to place it on the right side. So you're going to place your installation folder of GTA 5 on the right side and the installation folder of 5M on the left side. OK, very important, guys, that you do that. Now, once you've done that on the left side, on the 5M application data folder, I want you to create a new folder called plugins. As you can see, I already Already have my plugins folder in here if you don't have your plugins folder and i'm gonna delete mine so you can see just hit new hit folder and then name it plugins super easy 
Go ahead and open that plugins folder app and you should have an empty folder. And what you're going to do in here, guys, is copy the files that I'm going to tell you from the other folder. So come over here to your Grand Theft Auto uh, installation folder and first copy this file in here, the dxgi.dll. And if you can't see the name extensions, just click on view, click show and make sure you select file name extensions. OK, and then control C and then paste it over here on this folder. That is the first file we're going to copy. Let's scroll a little bit down and then select the reshape.ini, reshape log and reshape preset that INI control C that and paste it over here. And then the last folder that we're going to copy is the reshape shaders folder. This one right here on the top, just control C that folder, select the control C and then control V over here on the other side. These are the five files that you need to paste on your plugins folder on 5M. Now you could close the installation folder of GTA 5 and you're going to keep your 5M application data folder open because we might need it in just a second if we have any issues when running Reshade. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. Let's go ahead and launch 5M and see if Reshade is working. At this moment, a lot of you will have Reshade already working and you are done with the tutorial. Just launch your 5M and if Reshade is working for you, you are done. But I know a lot of you will have an issue in this moment that I'm also going to teach you how to fix. I don't know why some people have this problem and some people don't. I almost never have this problem, but I have gotten comments in the past of people having this problem. So let's go ahead and open 5M and I'll teach you how to fix this reshape problem if you do have it. Let's just go ahead and wait for this to open. Now that 5M open, I don't have reshape working and I'll teach you how to fix that super, super easy. All you have to do, guys, is press F8 if you don't have reshape working just yet. Press F8 and I'll open this thing here. This, uh, I don't know, command prompt in here. I don't know how to call this. And you're going to look for the add-ons and then reshade equal ID, all of that. And you're going to copy this whole string of text in here, these two texts in here. You're going to press Ctrl C once you select that. Just Ctrl C to copy that and head back into your 5M application folder, right? The application data folder that we selected earlier. Go back into this folder here where you have everything. Now, once you're in this folder with that text copy from 5M, you're going to right click on your citizen fx.ini file in here, right click on it and click open with and then select notepad and that is going to open this text in here. And now you're going to press the space down here. You're going to create two spaces in here. And in the second line, you're going to control V that text that we just copied. Just make sure you clear out this space after that. Just clear out the space, hit files, hit save, close this in here, head back into 5M and now relaunch 5M guys. Just press F8 to close that menu in there, close 5M, exit to desktop and relaunch 5M. Just make sure that you put that text in here into this file and that you save it. Relaunch 5M one more time. And now we should have our reshade working without any issues in 5M. Let's just go ahead and wait for this to load so you guys can see that reshade is already working and that's it. You should be done with this video and you should be able to enjoy. As you can see, reshade is already loading. But there we go, guys. Reshade is loading. As you can see, my camera is a little bit glitchy, a little bit laggy because reshade is loading and it's taking a lot of RAM in my computer as well as I'm recording in 1440. So let's just go ahead and wait for this to load. And I'm going to show you how to use reshade super, super easy, how to use reshade super quick in just a second. And after just a couple seconds of it loading, it says reshade is now installed successfully press home to start tutorial and if you press the home key you get reshade open in 5m as you can see you have a little tutorial here of course you're welcome to read through the tutorial but now you have all the presets all the add-ons and head over to a server you could press home again to close that menu let's head over to a server to show you guys that reshade is working all right guys and once you're in a 5m server in a role play server if you press home if you press the home key as you can see you get the reshape menu here. And of course, you could head over to your presets in here and you can select, start selecting stuff in here to start seeing it in the game. Feel free to play around with the settings, something I personally like adding. Personally, I like the blooming cans makes it like, I don't know, feel more fantasy style. And you could also change that home key. By the way, if you head over to settings in here, you could change that home key to something else. You just click on it and select whatever key you want to use. For me, I'm going to leave it on the home key. It doesn't matter whatever key you want to use to open your reshape menu. That is totally up to you guys. And that is pretty much how to install reshape in 2025 for 5m i hope this video helped y'all if it did don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye